more, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. I'm about to head to Dunkin Donuts and just get some breakfast because I really don't feel like cooking. Um, I have to study for my NCLEX all day today because y'all, I take my NCLEX on the 6th, okay? And to be completely honest, I have not been studying the way I should be studying for this freaking test. Like, it's not a super big deal. So, so, um, <clears throat> hold on. So I'm about to go ahead and go, um, I'm all over the place this morning and I didn't take my freaking rubber bands out, but hold on. It's probably way too bright, but I've been playing around with the freaking settings on this camera. Yeah, I had to take my hair down. I was not liking that at all. I'm actually going to take this down tonight. It just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Like, don't get me wrong. It looks... Uh, it gave my hair a break for a few days. So, I guess that's a plus. We got some benefit out of this hairstyle. But it's definitely not something that I'm trying to um, rock long term. So... I'm gonna have to get this taken out tonight. Like my hair is completely natural. I just didn't realize it was so soft, you know, um, that I can barely even put my own twist in my head. I need somebody else to do it that knows how to do it. What was I saying earlier? So I am about to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I have to get some food. I just really don't feel like cooking. One and two, there's not much in there to cook right now because I was supposed to have gr went grocery shopping last night, but we didn't have time because we were at Burlington so freaking long. I spent so much god dang money. <clears throat> I just spent way too much money in Burlington last night so I'm kind of going through some of the stuff just to see what you know um, I'm sending back like I tried on the clothes and stuff like that and the stuff that I didn't like so so far at least I get a hundred ish 120 ish of my dollars back it's just hard shopping for me and a bunch of other people so when people look at my receipts or they're looking at my bank statements or they think I'm so irresponsible because I pay or spend so much money in one store. Keep in mind, I, one person, am taking care of multiple people, three different people on my income. Just because you go to the store and you would spend, what, maybe $100, $200 on a quick little splurge for yourself, while you see me shopping and I'm spending like five, $600, keep in mind, I'm shopping and buying clothes and shoes and stuff for four of us, it's four of us, so, and a cat. <laughs> I have so many people saying stuff like, oh, that's so irresponsible, mind your business. <laughs> don't do that, don't mind my business. You in my business, don't do that. Real quick, before I go and get my breakfast, but um, I have a lot of you guys asking me about the course, you guys, you have questions you want them answered and i get it i, I get it you know you this is something that you want to do um and you want answers i may upload a few more videos for example some things you may want to have like a, a must-have video um what to expect first phase versus second phase things like that but as far as showing you guys i guess my day-to-day -day, like really i don't I'm not gonna do that. It's just not gonna happen because I don't like the program. I don't like it. It's too much nonsense, okay? It's a lot of nonsense. And when I'm saying, uh, when I'm talking about the program, do not for one second think that I'm talking about the instructors because I love, 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 love my instructors at the schoolhouse 
so much. I believe it's them that makes it easier to adapt to the things that's being pushed down for us to have to do. So with that being said, I just don't like the program. I don't like the program. I don't like the way things are done. I don't like the way people are handled. I just don't like it. So I stopped talking about it. I was told a long time ago, my grandmother taught me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And that's what I've been doing. Um, when you guys ask me questions, I still answer. I answer as honestly and as transparent as I possibly can. But when you ask me my opinion, that's why I don't answer. It's not that I'm ignoring you or I'm just being short with you. I don't want you to base your experience or what's going to be your experience off of mine. You need to create your own own opinion of a certain program a certain duty station a certain unit chain of commit things like that so I don't want to give you what I'm going through when I when it comes to this program so that can I guess in print or you have this bad idea of um, what you may possibly be coming into so no I won't be continuing with the 60 Charlie series like I said I might post a few more videos um, along the lines of just kind of the basics type of things you know um but other than that mm -mm, no <laughs> but yeah let me go and get this breakfast really quick i'm trying to figure out if there was anything else i needed to do grocery shop oh i need to do my nails so i showed you guys that little clip last night of the ideal nail polish because some of you guys have questions about the type of nail polish that you can get um when you're going to get your nails done so me right now i'm still not getting my nails done if you see my toes and stuff done i did that myself a lot of the times i use just the press-ons or i use the glue-ons and i'll put a white coat over it for my toes and i didn't really do anything to my nails i just uh, manicured them up and made sure my nails look nice but oh, what is this but now i'm going to try out that nail polish that i bought just so i can see what it's looking like and i might end up being able to actually have my nails looking kind of cute sometimes so um i'll show you guys how that ended up oh. okay let me go get some food <laughs> Hey, what's up y'all? I just took the longest freaking nap and I seriously hate when I do that. I hate when I do that so much because sometimes I even do that at work. Um, I'll go to sleep on my lunch and then I would have to get up and I'm all like tried out and discombobulated. But I call myself trying to study and I guess my body just decided to shut down because I, I really did feel... I was feeling overwhelmed and I think that's what my body's been doing. Like when I get too overwhelmed, it just shut it down. I think that's what's happening. <sighs> I slept for way too long. I feel uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. I actually woke up because um, Mia, she was playing on Darion's little toy that he bought the other day from Burlington. It's a little microphone that he's been playing with and it's so cute. But she was so freaking cute. I tried to sneak and capture her, but she caught me trying to record. So she woke me up. So I'm about to actually run her bath water because I still have to get her in the bath. And I'm about to... <sighs> Do I want to take this down now? Because we still have to go grocery shopping. I think I'm going to wait before I take this down because this takes a while. Um, and I don't want to be ripping up my hair trying to rush. So I'm going to wait on that. But I am about to wash my face and try to refresh myself because I'm sweating as well. So I feel disgusting and sticky like I didn't just have a shower earlier. So yeah, I don't know what was up with that, but let me go ahead and wake myself up. On my way home, stumbling on the pavement, on the pavement, okay. No sleep in my body, last night got me wasted, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody calling my phone up just to make sure I get home safe and sound, yeah, I'm pretty sure If I fall down and don't get up, nobody would care, yeah Don't wanna be alone anymore, so I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked Sleep with the doors unlocked. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, I might as well sleep with the doors.
nerves unlock Headache and sore throat Constantly hungover Yeah Eating all alone Sleeping on my own Tell me how to be Ain't nobody calling my phone up Just to make sure I get home safe and sound, yeah I'm pretty sure If I fall down and don't get up Nobody would care, yeah Don't wanna be alone anymore So I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked Hey guys, what's up? So it's way later. It's like midnight now. It's past 12 o'clock in the morning, I think. So we got back from Walmart about an hour and a half-ish ago, probably even a little bit more. Um, we put all the groceries and stuff away and I started taking my hair down. That's why it's looking like this right now. I started taking my hair down. I still got a bunch up here to take down. There's some up here that don't really fit up in this little bun while it's twisted right now. So um i'll probably finish that tomorrow or something like that i got into some actual pajamas so i can get ready to go to bed but yeah i'm about to make me something to eat i think i'm about to make some toast i was gonna eat a lunchable but i'm actually really hungry so yeah let's go get some food stumbling on the pavement on the pavement yeah yeah no sleep in my body Last night got me wasted, yeah, yeah Ain't nobody calling my phone up Just to make sure I get home safe and sound, yeah I'm pretty sure if I fall down and don't get up Nobody would care, yeah Don't wanna be alone anymore So I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked ooh, ooh. Sleep with the doors unlocked. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked. Headache and sore throat. Constantly hung up. yesterday at all um i started vlogging in the morning but definitely do not finish when i say my day was so bad yesterday so that i boogers i just woke up it's it's 7 30 <laughs> but um when i say it's always something it's literally always something and it's to the point i'm just i'm already trying to make it through so much i just feel like i'm trying to make it through so much i already have so much that i'm dealing with that's on my plate that i didn't put there and you know i'm just dealing with it i'm just trying to figure out how to get through everything and be on the other side where i can like take a deep breath but every single time i think i didn't figure one piece of this puzzle out something else happens and yesterday i was really just thinking like i don't know how much more of this I can take. It's, it's just so, like, it's so much. It's so much, like how much more? Seriously. I just wanna to get to a point where I'm able to just take a damn deep breath and let it out and be okay at the end of this deep breath, not constantly readjusting just to re-engage in some type of battle. I'm always fighting something. And it's never something small. It's never something, you know, I can just handle really quickly. It's always a battle that's bigger than myself. And I'm really trying to figure out what in the world I've done in this life, in my past life. Like what in the world have I done 
like what am i being punished for that's really what i feel like at this point like what am i being punished for i don't know but i just had to rant about my feelings real quick because y'all it's just and if you've had a lot on your plate and if you've been just completely burnt out and stressed out with life and everything else you know what i'm talking about you 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 go through your entire day you can't really enjoy it because there's always something in the back of your mind that you're focusing on that needs to get done or needs to be fixed or you need to tend to but you got other you know obligations and stuff you get to sleep at night it's all relaxing and stuff and then you wake up and immediately all these obligations and responsibilities and stresses just hit you <laughs> all over again and it's like Okay, well, I guess we'll start over today and see what we can chop away at, but I just can't wait till the day I'm through this. But seriously, that's enough ranting. So today is actually my first day doing my transition to practice. Transition to practice is when you've made it through all your didactics, you've made it through all your clinical hours, pass all the tests, you pass all the assessments, you did everything that you needed to do, and now you're gonna kinda adjust into what it is going to be like working as a nurse in the military. Um, I'm doing my transition to practice in the ER. I will be there from 10:45 to I think it's 23:30 or something like that. So, um, 10 o'clock in the morning to around 11 o'clock ish at night in the emergency room. Yeah. So I need to pack something to eat because I did not pack anything to eat. I need to pack my backpack um because i don't have any of my, my shoes any of my nursing stuff in my backpack so i gotta get all that stuff together and yeah just get ready Okay, so I just finished my skincare, I just finished my hair, and I did not do much, but putting my hair up like this was actually really difficult. My hair's been growing a lot lately, which I'm super happy about because I'm trying to grow my hair out. But um, yeah, this was just so much more difficult than it needed to be. And then I put on some, um, some mascara and some eyeliner. I really, really, really want to find some new glasses. Like I don't, I don't like these. They're a military issue, they're too big, they can't fix them, they can't give me a new pair, I can barely see out of them. So I really, I really need to get some new glasses. And now I'm about to start packing my stuff because I still haven't packed my stuff. I'm gonna get me some breakfast really quick and then head out the door. So I'm pretty much ready to walk out the door. I made my breakfast and I'm trying to be quiet because I'm sure Bia's still sleeping, but I made my breakfast it's just some salmon toast avocado egg toast with avocado um i got some tea and i gotta clean this kitchen at some point no wonder why i was feeling like super moist it's so freaking foggy out here that's ridiculous but i got my breakfast i got my tea i'm actually about to just head to work because i'm actually really early what time is it it is 8 46 so it's about to be nine i'll make it there about nine or five nine ten but i don't have to be i'm not trying to walk into the hospital until around 10 30 because that'll give me about 20 minutes to get dressed and do everything that i need to do that's more than enough time y'all i i'm actually kind of nervous i just got in the car and got nervous for whatever reason but um i don't know if i'm ready for this 12 hour shift life <laughs> i mean i'm kind of glad i'm in the emergency room and then again i'm not 
I just don't know. I just don't know. We'll see. But I didn't show you guys my nails. Actually put some color on them. I just painted this myself, by the way. Like you winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. 